Hey guys, Ashley with Techno Buffalo here. Wanted to give you a little tour of my five favorite Android launchers. So if you've ever been curious about rooting your phone, but maybe are a little bit reserved about it and are not sure if you wanna actually do it, you can try a custom launcher for your Android device that can customize the way that your phone looks and feels without having to go through the process of rooting. It won't give you as many options as rooting your phone and installing, say, CyanogenMod on it, but it does give you a lot of customization options that are fantastic. So let's take a look at my top five Android launchers. Now I wanna make a quick mention of the fact that any of these launchers may have the same features across them. So for example, this is Action Launcher Pro and we have a folder in our dock bar. That's a feature that's pretty standard across launchers, but if I mention it, you can probably get something like this in different launchers that I mention. What we're looking at here is Action Launcher Pro and their main features are, they have three quick buttons here. We have Google Search, this is a link to the Play Store, which is kind of fantastic. I always like having that right there for me. And you can also go into some settings here. Now, my favorite thing about the app drawer is it's actually not a drawer anymore. It's just this quick swipe to the left and there are all of your apps. You also have widgets available inside this same drawer, making it really easy to customize your home screen. So right now I just have a really simple clock. Uh, on the screen because I want to just show you the features of each launcher. Next up, I'm going to go into something a little bit more robust. This is ADW Launcher. So ADW Launcher offers a few different customization options for you. You can see our app drawer has been moved right into here and we have this beautiful sort of moving forward screen for all of our apps. It's really lovely. You can also set up and manage groups. You can manage your apps if you wanna uninstall something. And we can also go into our ADW settings. Uh, one of the things that I really like about ADW Launcher is if we were to go into our home screen here in Long Press, we actually get a really quick ADW config. So let's say we wanted to add more than one single home screen to our ADW. We can do that right here. We can add it to the left or to the right. You can see we have many, many screens happening. If we wanna get rid of a screen, we can do that. Let's get rid of a couple of these. And you can see you can also pin a screen to be your main home screen when you press the home button. If we wanted to add widgets, we just go over to add and we have launcher actions, custom shortcuts, new folders, widgets, and regular shortcuts. So it's a really great way to customize your home screen. Next up, we're gonna take a look at Apex Launcher. So here's Apex Launcher. You can see it's a little bit different. We have just a simple Google search bar. Uh, we also have a bar here that is gonna show us the status of our home screen. So we have this lovely blue moving scroll. Uh, here's our app drawer. It's pretty standard, reminds us a lot of stock Android. You can go to downloaded. So if there's anything that you've downloaded. So if you only wanna look at things you've downloaded and nothing that came preloaded on your device, you can come right in here. And we also have widgets available to us inside our app drawer. Now, if we also wanted to go ahead and see what our app menu was, we can do a lot of different things. We can actually change the theme of this one. So I've downloaded a couple of themes. Uh, this neon pixels one, we can actually choose icon, skin, and wallpaper. So let's go ahead and apply that. And now that we've done that, you can see it's changed our wallpaper and we have these beautiful neon skinned app icons, which is really cool. And if they don't have their own icon, it will just wrap it in a lovely little neon box there and then it will put the regular app icon inside it. Next up, we're gonna look at Go Launcher EX. A Go Launcher is one of the more popular app launchers in the Android store. But one of the things that Go Launcher does is it makes your icons these beautiful sort of pillow box icons. If we go into our app drawer, we can actually see it's done it to all of our icons. And we can also see what's running right at the tip of our finger, which is really fantastic. I really enjoy that. And we also have our settings down here. So instead of having it up at the top of the screen, we have it a little lower, which can be a little bit cumbersome for some people if they're used to hitting the app drawer right at the bottom middle of their screen. Uh, but there are plenty of options, themes, everything that you could possibly want. Uh, you can see here's a bunch of different themes that they have available. So lots of ways to customize with Go Launcher.
And lastly, we have something that's a little bit different. It's called Smart Launcher. So here is Smart Launcher. You can see it's very minimalistic. There are no other home screens available to you. And you have six icons that give you the ability to launch different applications. So if we wanted to get rid of something like, let's say we don't really use music a whole lot, we can always trash it here. But if we wanted to add something different, we can always long press on the screen, click on the add, and let's say, well, maybe, okay, we did want music. Uh, we can choose which app we want it to launch by default. So let's say we really love play music. So now you can see it's added it to this lovely circle. And there are also other options available to us if we wanted to utilize that. Something interesting that Smart Launcher does is it actually categorizes your apps. So they have communications, internet, games, media, utility, and settings. And this is actually really quick, so it's very responsive. Uh, I really enjoy the way that they have set everything up. But generally speaking, very simple, easy to use, and certainly for the modern person who loves minimalist design on their phone. So that is it for my favorite custom Android launchers. You can see I have quite a few of them installed on here. I've got six, including HTC Sense. But I just want to remind you guys that a lot of these have free trials. So you can go right into the Google Play Store, try them out. And if you like them, you can buy the pro version or the paid version that will unlock additional features. I know there are some like Nova Launcher that are very, very popular out there. And I'd love to hear your opinions on what you think is the best Android launcher. Thanks, guys.